just another point on the broader market. You know, the Wall Street Journal quoted a Bank of America analyst saying, if 2017 is the year of optimism, maybe 2018 will be the year of euphoria. And we know from John Templeton that bull markets die on euphoria. So, Danielle, what do you make of a forecast like that? I, I don't doubt that, that we're going to see a 3% handle on GDP, a 3% handle on, on unemployment, and we could see a 3,000 handle on the S&P. When markets are behaving in this way, the greater risk is a melt up. And that's huh. Jay Powell's worst nightmare. Hmm. Danielle, or uh, Gabriella? <laughs> <laughs> Close. Two brunettes. <laughs> Close. Um, look, I think we would agree 2018 is probably actually going to be uh, a bit of a sugar high year for the U.S. economy. We also expect 3% growth, 3.4% um, on the unemployment rate by the end of the year. That probably means some four rate hikes from the Fed. So it's not quite the end of the cycle, but it's an acceleration for an economy that's really, in terms of you think a little bit longer term, not going to be able to sustain that pace of growth. And so double digits yeah. on the market seems hard to, to sustain as but well. But what you've just described is 1999, <laughs> 2000. How so? The economic data points, they line up. We have not seen, we, we never did see sub 4% unemployment rate in the last cycle. You have to go back mm -hmm. to the late 1990s to see those sub 4% levels. And the market was very overvalued at that point, 